I'm going to demonstrate how to sharpen up a hole saw using our AV40 and our hole saw fixture. First you loosen up this wing nut here, take the spring off, usually bring my slide away here so you can pull the center pin out. And you got your tapered cone here and you bring it through the center of your hole of your hole saw, followed by your washer. And put your spring back on and your wing nut. You want to put this wing nut so it's tight to eliminate any little wobble play that you might have in there. There we go, and so that way it's still able to turn freely. And you always want your, you're always going to grind in the bottom of your teeth and you're going to want it about even with your center of your arbor. This is adjustable here so you can do all different size hole saws here. That's about good there. Lock that down. And then I always mark the first tooth that I'm going to start with on the inside on these so that way you can see where you are. And I kind of also mark where I'm going to be grinding so I can see if I need to make any fine adjustments after I've got into it. Mark about four or five teeth. And you're going to want this nut up on top of the fixture so you can just swivel it a little bit. Your diameter adjusting slide so you can swivel. And you want to bring it up to your first tooth. And on the back side of here, I always round this with our diamond dresser so that way you can get inside the gullet of the tooth nicely. And it doesn't have to be very precise because once you do your first one, it will kind of conform into there and put a little back relief so you don't nick your next tooth. And you just bring it in here and line it up like so. And then first thing I'll do is lock down my diameter adjusting slide. And I'll bring it back in there and get it lined up and then lock down my fixture. There we go. Now once I get into my grinding wheel, I'll bring it to where I'm just touching that gullet and I'll lock my front stop. So that way now you can pull it out, bring it in here and turn it in and you won't go any farther. And we should be ready to set up to uh, do a little test. And it looks like we're grinding pretty much perfectly in there. Um, maybe just a smidge towards the back, which if I do that, if I bring my motor forward a little bit, I, my whole, you see how that hole saw moves? So that'll allow you to get into the outer edge of that tooth a little bit better. And I'll try it again. There we go, now we got it perfect. So now you're just going to turn it on. And touch each tooth just very lightly. And just bring it so it comes in there. Just checking to make sure. Now we're back to our first tooth and you can see a very good consistent grind through all the teeth. It's just light pressure that you need to do to recreate that edge and it should cut beautifully.